The town of Coaldale, Alberta will soon no longer be the only place in all of Canada to pay 100% for its RCMP. The Alberta government announced today an annual funding for Coaldale to cover local policing costs that they say the federal government is refusing to pay. BCN's Naveen Day has the details. Since signing a policing agreement with the federal government in 2016, Coaldale has been the only municipality to cover 100% of its contract with the federally run RCMP. Minister of Public Safety and Emergency Services Mike Ellis announced Friday morning that the province will be stepping in to provide an annual provincial grant to ease some financial burden from Coaldale ratepayers. Ellis calls the refusal from the federal government to foot the bill, quote, unacceptable and completely unfair. Albertans deserve to feel safe and protected in their communities and deserve equal treatment when it comes to uh, police service funding. With no indication that Public Safety Canada is interested in resolving this unfair singling out of small town Alberta, we are taking action today. Alberta's government is stepping up to provide Coaldale with $550,000 in funding to cover local policing costs that the federal government is refusing to pay. The funding will provide Coaldale ratepayers with the same 30% subsidy that the federal government extends to similarly sized towns across the country that are policed by the RCMP under municipal contracts. Coaldale Mayor Jack Van Ryan said the money is much needed for the town and it should have never been excluded from federal funding to begin with. Town of Coldwell is no different than any other municipality with the rising inflation costs and all the expenses that a municipality finds that, that comes to it uh, to our community. This funding will go a long way in um, getting us past the finish line when it comes to our budget deliberations. In fact, when uh, our council set the budget for this year, we based it on receiving this uh, grant. And with, without receiving that money, we would have had to come back to the council table to deliberate how we were going to either cut or raise ta taxes for our residents. Tabor Warner MLA Grant Hunter is pleased with Friday's announcement, something he says was an issue that was needing to be worked on for many years. It's been a long haul. We've gone through a few ministers. And it's interesting because when we went up and sat down with uh, with Minister Ellis. Uh, I know that the team had prepared, they had worked hard, they had figured out how they can present and had gone through his, you know, left no stone unturned. And Minister Ellis adds calls were sent out to the feds on the issue, calls that he says fell on deaf ears. It's not without lack of trying on uh, both the provincial government side, the town of Coaldale side, and in fact, even the uh, the R RCMP in Alberta themselves, again, tried to essentially lobby the federal government and Public Safety Canada to have them with fair and equitable treatment like every other police, uh, police uh, or every other town that has contract policing in Canada. And in all cases, including from the RCMP's side, from the provincial government side, from the town of Coaldale side, it's been nothing but deaf ears. For Bridge City News... I'm Naveen Day.